When you're learning any stitch, it's easiest if you start with a loose weave fabric so that you can count the threads to make the stitches even. So for the blanket stitch, I've knotted my yarn and I come up from underneath. And then I'm counting the stitches. I'm counting about four across and then about four up. And when I go into the fabric with my needle, it makes an L shape with the yarn that I've laid, laid across the line of stitchery. Then I push my needle under those four threads I counted and over the yarn and pull it down into a corner. Then I lay the yarn along the line of stitchery and I count down along the line of stitchery four threads and then up four threads and I go underneath the four and overlap the yarn and pull it down into a corner again. It's important to make sure that the yarn overlaps the yarn that's in the line of stitchery and pulls it down into a corner because if it doesn't overlap it, then it'll just make a diagonal stitch instead of pulling it down into a corner. So here I make sure I'm overlapping and then I pull it down and it's always important to pull it down otherwise you're still going to end up with a funny looking stitch. So pull it down so that it pulls the corner down and then it'll turn out the way you want it to. Once you've learned how to do this, you can do it in finer fabric where it's harder to count the threads and you can use finer thread and not use yarn. Uh, for that, you'll probably end up having to just like measure it. I mean, not like every time use a ruler, but just learn to see what's approximately a half inch or a quarter inch or whatever it is you're striving for. Okay, now I'll show you how to fasten the stitch at the end so it doesn't pull out. So after you finish your last stitch, you um, take your needle and you go to the back of the fabric. You go right through the fabric to the back. Make sure that that last little stitch is holding the corner in place. And then you lift up the fabric so you can see the back. And you take a little stitch under a couple of the threads. And you pull it through to see a loop. And then you pull it through the loop and then you go through again with another little stitch. Here's a loop and then you stick it through the loop again and pull tight and that should hold it.